For many transgender women and cross-dressing men, learning to live as a woman is something that is learned by themselves or in secret. But now, thanks to a revolutionary trans finishing school, they're being taught how to move, dress, and even speak like ladies. What do you think? At LaFemme, we offer classes in makeup application, walking, feminine movement, deportment, etiquette. LaFemme Finishing School in New Jersey, America, is the brainchild of wife and mother of three, Lady Ellen, who dedicates her life to helping her pupils feel more confident and comfortable in their feminine skin. I have a couple of different categories. One is the very closeted married man who doesn't want his family to know what he's doing because he never told his wife or kids. Now some people, they want to go into the community, they want to be out in public. So they come for a series of lessons and once they've learned what they want to learn and they feel comfortable, then they move on, they don't need my help anymore. Today, Antoinette, Allison and Belinda are among those attending the school. I'm transgender and I live half time as a woman, half time as a man. Not growing up as a girl, you really don't learn the things that women learn. I have two children. I've been married for 21 years. She's always known about Allison ever since we were dating. And she's very supportive and she's everything to me. Lady Ellen taught me a lot of those things. Makeup, deportment. Lady Ellen's pretty much helped me with the uh, all aspects of my behavior. Cross-dresser Antoinette has been visiting Lady Ellen for four and a half years and has come for a full male to female transformation. The first time I dressed in women's clothing I think was way back when I was a teenager. I just had the, uh, I just loved the look of hosiery on women. And one day I just finally said I want to just get a full fledged makeover and see what I look like as a woman. The school, which is run from Lady Ellen's home, houses an extensive wardrobe consisting of a variety of outfits. This is a, a breast form and it's a pocket bra so we're just going to tuck the breast form right into that and this is called a jiggle bra so that as she moves the breast kind of have a natural wiggle to them. When I'm in these clothes it feels great it's just like such a release it's like it's like just escaping reality. I'm putting up Antoinette's hair so that I can try some wigs on her. Lady Ellen actually gave me this term uh, dual gender and I'm happy being both a boy and a girl comes to my friends and family, uh, uh, well, I'm what, what you call closeted, so nobody really knows except for me and uh, like the girls that I associate with. I think Antoinette looks great as a blonde. I've tried all different shades of blonde on her. Transformation complete. Ellen shows off Antoinette's new look. You ready to take a look in the mirror? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, spin around. What do you think? Oh, awesome. I feel great. I feel like a new person. To see the confidence that it gives people when they see themselves in the mirror and they say, okay, I look like a lady, I can go out in public, I'm not going to be laughed at. Allison, you're right there. The next lesson for today is in applying makeup. What we're going to do is um, put on our eyeshadow, uh, eyeliner, and mascara. We're going to do it step by step. Ready? Right. Okay, pick up your eyeshadow. Eye makeup has been the most difficult area for me to, to, to conquer. I think it is for, for most girls. When they're looking fabulous, Ellen makes sure the women training at her school can walk the walk. So what we're going to do is use this rope as a practice line, keeping one foot on each side of the line, walking as close to the line as you can without going over it. Closer together. Head up, head up, head up. Try again, going back. That's better, chin up, good. Feet closer together. <laughs> Antoinette, that was very good. I'm a rather tall, large person, so the feminine movement would be very helpful to me to try to perfect my look. She can walk and talk at the same time. Woo! All right, Allie, don't trip on the rope. <laughs> 
With training over for the day, Ellen's pupils meet up with some transgender and cross-dressing friends at a local restaurant. I thought they were adorable, and that's why I had to stop and say hello. I thought, well, you know, that might be a man. It's what they do, it's their style, it's okay. Yeah. To sexual freedom. <laughs> <laughs> and for Ellen, every transformation brings a new friend into her life. The most rewarding part of my job, when I'm finished with the first transformation and they see themselves in the mirror, and you see this look of surprise on their faces because they never thought that they could look so realistic. 